Okay, so this is a signal generator. It looks something like this. Some buttons on the front and some other things on the back. It has some inputs and outputs, 10 MHz in, 10 MHz out, and a USB plug, the power cord, a fuse, and the on off switch. Okay, that's on the back and on the front it has another USB. It's a Rigol DG1011 and it goes up to 50 megahertz. This function generator. Okay, let's turn it on. It has this nice button here. It has a fan on the side. Beep. Okay, there's the fan. And let's see. So it's automatically selected uh, the sine wave. It, here's the sine itself. And we can choose another wave square wave, ramp, pulse, noise, arbitrary signal, and a counter thing. Okay, let's get back to sine wave. So this button is for frequency, that for amplitude, offset and so on. Let's go to frequency. So the width of the signal is uh, repeated 1000 times per second, that is 1 kilohertz. Okay, that can be moved, changed from here. Now it's 20 kilohertz. Okay, and that signal won't come out from the machine unless we push this output button and it will come out on this uh, port. This is a RCA on one end and something like a TV cable, internet cable on the other end. Come on. Okay. And it goes in there. Okay, let's turn it off. We don't need it right now. And so this is the frequency, 9 kilohertz, which goes up to 50 megahertz in the case of the sine wave. For example, let's go to 14 and let's choose megahertz. And let's go run uh, left and right and move this wheel and it stops at 50 megahertz okay and we, if i press frequency again then it goes to period the measures the same thing but in time values okay amplitude that's 5 volts peak to peak from the bottom and uh, to the top of the sine wave that goes up to 20 volts okay and the amplitude high level low level can be changed offset high level low level you can change the height of the sine wave move it higher or lower something like that Okay, and I can, for example, generate 10 volts DC. It can output DC or AC. Ooh. Whatever, what I did. Sine wave, 20 volts. Okay, no. Okay, so it can output DC also. So at utility and DC, now it's DC on. Okay, and notice these are turned off. And if I click sine wave, it's back to AC. So 
so let's generate 10 not this one frequency 10 Hertz that is the output signal it is repeated 10 times per second I said 10 uh, Hertz okay 10 Hertz the output signal is repeated 10 times per second and at 20 watts okay turning off the signal turning off the machine and that's it signal generator okay that's it bye bye thank you bye 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 bye